Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Sis here with another episode of my Skyrim playthrough. We're going to jump right in uh, to the next episode um, here where we're going to Dark Brotherhood um, contracts. We're going to go ahead and, uh, I don't know why I was stumbling over the words there, but we're going to move on to our next section of these contracts, these smaller contracts, in order to move the storyline along. So without further ado, um, we have Contract Kill Lurbook, uh, a bard in the town of Morthal. And kill Hearn, a vampire in Half Moon Hill. So, and that is how we would, uh, you know, continue the storyline. I heard about what happened. Ah, you must be my little adventure. And this is the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, of course. I don't know which one's closer. But we'll find out. The tenets of the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, let's see which one is closer. How do I get to the map? I forget. I forget. There we go. Sorry. It's been a minute since I played. Alright. We have Morthal. And. Ooh. Half Moon Mill. We've been to both places. Quite convenient. Okay. I think this one is a vampire. Hello. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Do you like it out here, away from everything? Other people just make things complex. Out here, Hearn and I can get everything we need from the occasional traveler. Why, so you're Herd, your names are Herd and Hurt? We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. What location does this mill supply? We supply Falkreath to the south. Until your eyes are super red, lady. Helgen. Felkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. You just gonna watch me, lady? Don't mind me, I'm just breaking into your house. You're not supposed to be here. Well, now, what have we here? Oh, he's like clearly a, a vampire. Lamb. Assassin versus vampire, a fight for the ages. Ah, so the Brotherhood has come for old Hearn, has it? Well then, let us meet as equals. Hey! Hey! Well, if we're gonna meet as equals. <laughs> vampire versus werewolf. Oh yeah, no chance. He had no chance. Now his wife's gonna come at me. Come at me, lady. Vampire scum. I feed on a chicken? Nope. Hello. Wait. I don't want to like wander into a city. Werewolf. I'm a werewolf. Let's see if we can find anything to kill. Stuck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just parkour. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore 
Yes, kill the fox. Kill the fox. Oh god. Can't feed on a fox. Oh, 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 I'm struggling. I don't have any perk points, I guess. Oh, yes, you didn't even see me coming. Killing bandits and feasting. You did. Any more? That's it. I'll find his body and feast. Aha, there he is. Alrighty, we are on the prowl. Something's over here. Is it a hunter? Oh, a bandit. Trying to use fear. Tell you what, you start running, snap you in the back. Oh man, that was a fail. I tried to eat that lady, and we failed. Nice. You think I'm not going back? Think again. This isn't over. This is not over. Where's he at? I hear him. Okay. Werewolves can't climb stairs. Alright, we have a perk. What does this do? Totem of Terra. So that perk will allow my werewolf form to uh, be more effective. Let's see, uh, let's quick save. Let's see if these guys are still over here or if that was like a randomly generated thing. And now that I improved that perk, they are now running away from me.
get him. Yeah, these dudes kicked my ass the last time. But not this time. Glitching out a little bit. Oh, well. oh the wolf's not... If I'm a werewolf... Oh, hey, the wolf didn't do anything. Nice, he doesn't care. We're traveling as a wolf. I wonder if there's like a perk where you can just like... Get like wolf friends. That'd be pretty tight. see the map. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Hello, wolves. Oh, there's a hunter. Well, it glitched out. <laughs> Those wolves help me. We continue the prowl as we approach our destination. That's a dragon. Do you think a werewolf can beat a dragon? Probably not. That's a fortress of some kind. Yeah, let's not test our luck with that dragon, right? Yeah, I don't think I can fight it while I'm a werewolf. So let's just ignore it this time. Werewolf versus rocks. Can't get over top of them. Man, it's glitching out hardcore. Uh oh. Time to run. Oh, Jesus. Gotta run. Gotta run. Wow, I just murdered that bear. can fight this guy. Come at me, bro. I missed. Are you gonna run away? Again, but I'm... I'm so much more powerful in my normal state. Um, I don't need that. Oh, that's not what I do. Huh. I got so much super heavy stuff. There we go. Give me that soul. That's not my soul. Full Jotanak. Full Jotanak. Alright. Yeah, we weren't even that 
that close. Now we can fast travel now that we're not a werewolf. So solid. So many uh, guards. Don't mind the me. We'll go to nighttime. Coffee. Alrighty. You going to bed, bro? Who are you? The people here work so are you hard, a vampire? and they never allow no. themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. You don't have a door to your room? I can't just shut the door. And they never know what hit them. Hey, my illusion went up. Nice. Quick save. Been a very productive day so far. We killed a couple people, killed a dragon, did some werewolfing. Going back to the sanctuary. Can't see me. Look at me. I look so like hodgepodge. We need to talk. Uh has the time come when I now serve the night mother? Of course, Astrid, what is it? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Sure. Cool beans. Let me go turn in my contracts, though. It's not all about you, Astrid. trying to get paid need something her and this dead no sarcasm this time you faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale well done well, I'm a, I'm a and if you contracted sanguinari vampiris be sure to get that taken care of else you'll end up like our own babette unless of course that was your goal all along Here's your payment. Gotcha. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Are there any more contracts? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Okie dokie. Alright, so Astrid has agreed to let me see Amad the Multiair in the dungeon known as Volenrund, as commanded by the Night Mother. I'm to speak with Montier and find out what he wants. Evil. There is more knowledge in me than the two of you pups put together. So this is basically the continuation of the storyline. Where is it at? It's in the middle of some place I've never freaking been. So, 
I guess I can just go... But hopefully this is close enough. Mountain climbing. Becky, can you climb this mountain? Let's get it, Becky. There we go. We're just walking up a mountain like it's nothing. We're sprinting. Hello. Hello. Anybody home? It's Giants Camp. Keep getting over encumbered. Oh, he heard that. He sees nothing. We don't have to worry about dying. We stole from the giant. I think he sees me. Okay, bye Mr. Giant. I just stole from you, but we're not going to talk about that. Bye. Oh, oh don't fall. Oh, there's another giant. Goodbye. Oh. Later, Mr. Giant. Alright, we're getting closer to our destination. Just slight detours. And eventually I can earn a perk that'll make it to where my spellcasting is silent. But I do not have that at the moment. Valendrund. Paj. <laughs> Quick save. See what's going on in here. Okay, I had a feeling that that guy was. Gosh darn it. I picked up a shovel. dead stuff out here. I'm just gonna loot all these bodies. Hello. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. The Night Mother heard your pleas, Maltier. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. 
You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. <laughs> You want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel. That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your superior. Rexus, the items. Are you trustworthy, bro? Yeah. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is there something else you need? Who are you, Motier? Who are you really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? Why do this? We have the why have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Makes sense. We'll require significant compensation. <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead, there will be gold. A fortune in gold. But so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, Oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. It's true. You can trust your servant to keep the secret? Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. Gotcha. You must deliver those items to your superior. Can I have this stuff? Thank I, you. I must get out of this foul place. I have vowed to serve Armand Motier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Interesting. Hmm. That jeweled amulet was worth a thousand gold. So I got, dude, I got like 40,000 gold. That's really not that much to me. I'm the Dragonborn. Valendrund. Well, we'll come back. We will come back to Valenrund. We will revisit. But for now, we will continue with our mission. I went and did what she told me to do. Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Hello. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? Motier wants us to kill the Emperor. You're joking. What's this? The letter explains it all. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Surely the Night Brother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. 
And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Yeah, Bring he's Mallory part of the, the Fiend's Guild. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Okay. Well, guys, we just got offered the opportunity to kill the Emperor of Skyrim, and that's where we'll go ahead and pick up the next episode. We'll end this one here. Um, if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a good one.